you need to unmute yourself, please. Mm. Any, please go ahead. Mm. If you can Hello? hear me. Okay, go ahead. Great. Uh, good evening, sir. Thank you very much for what you're doing. I, I, I saw the basis of innovation quadrant. Um, I was hoping that you speak more on that. I didn't, I mean, if you could just spend some time to just explain that, uh, that would be nice. Okay. Thank you. okay. Um, yeah, actually, I was thinking that we could read it up in the class notes or so video, but let, let me just go through it. So what we're saying here is that if you look at this quadrant, there are four quadrants that you can participate as a company. Okay, if you look at here is a, what we call the vertical ASICs. You can here you look at what we call the horizontal ASICs. The horizontal differentiation. Differentiation is essentially how different are you from others. Then you say value you are giving to customers. In other words, how I, what is your value proposition? What is it that you are doing that customers value? We said that when a company operates here, your differentiation is low, the value you are adding is low. You can say the largest things somebody that is selling corn. Somebody that is selling corn on the road, everyone is selling corn. You are not really differentiating yourself in any way because everyone is selling corn on the roadside. And the value you are adding to the customer is fine, but it's not as so magical because everyone is also selling. Then you can also high low level of differentiation. Let's say for instance, you have fast food, you have Mr. Beats, you have some restaurants. We say that if you are in this hygiene factors, that there is a high value to customers if your restaurant is clean. That our restaurant has to be very, very clean because most people would not like to eat food where the restaurant is not clean. So if you are in the hygiene factor quadrant, what that means is that we expect your value to customer, they expect this hygiene factor to be very high. That is a very, it has to be clean. That's a very high thing to customers. That's how they perceive it. But of course, fast foods are fast foods. The level of differentiation is not really that key. So you're never going to be a massively innovative company in that case, because, hey, everyone expects restaurant to be clean. Now, there is also the risk of you are trying to pursue innovation quadrant. And you are now thinking that the only way I can do is to spend so much money. So you spend so much money, you become over differentiated. But unfortunately, the value you are creating before customers, the way they perceive what you are adding as a value is very, very low. This is a very bad place to be. So um, in our business, uh, uh, we, we do a lot of uh, consulting for banks across Africa and beyond. And I recall vividly, I, I went to the board meeting to a bank, an executive director of the bank, a very big bank in Lagos was, he made a presentation that they needed to buy high speed to connect all their branches and things like that. So when he finished, uh, the boy just asked me as the, as the leader's part, what am I, my this? I just said um, that they proposed, proposed that, that they were, that the ED was proposing that it wasn't really necessary. My postulation was based on what data was being transmitted. And he confirmed that it was test through the bank's general ledger, like you have a, a Finaco, you have a Flash Cube, and those are the bank general ledger. And I said, if you are transmitting tests from the branches to the head office server so that you can serve customer, that the, the bandwidth and the network speed you are asking is not necessary, that we are not running a YouTube business or Netflix that you require extremely fast speed. So the one that you have chosen, I mean, say this thing respectfully, of course, is not the best because you are getting trapped into the over-investment quadrant and trying to build an innovation system in that bank. But this investment you're making, why it is very differentiated. You're gonna have very fast, high-speed internet in the, connecting the branches, but customers don't care because it's milliseconds that the branch needs to talk to head of his server to connect, to know whether the person has money to pay. It's infinitely just marginal to the customer. So I recommended that we don't take that highly speed, high speed. It's not necessary that we need to save cost and explain that we don't 
that's not useful. And at the, at the end of the day, even the ED felt, yes, on that angle that the value to customer was not much. And if the value to customer is not much, your customers are not going to pay you for that because they don't even notice that you're using, instead of maybe using four gig or you're using uh, three gig and you're saving massive level of value. Now, where we want to be in the innovation in, in the quadrant is here. The basis of competition means you are well differentiated. Everyone knows you are unique because of things you have done. And the value of making that decision is also very high to customers. In other words, you deliver value that people know is distinct and customers value that thing that you have done. Just like the case of Apple, it's well differentiated and the value we create, customers are ready to pay. So you say that they are within the innovation so, um, I, I don't know if that explains it, and uh, but if you read the book, you can see Thank more you. cases. Thank you very much. Yeah. So yeah. you yeah. you wanna be here, uh, you know that was why I just focused on basis of competition. Mm. And if you look at Nigeria now, let's use Indominus. Before, if you look around, I mean, I attended Futo. There is a department on food production. I think there is food science, a very great department. Uh, even though they were not giving us food free those days food for electrical engineering. So you could have just gone there and get food free, but they were not. But they had a department there. And if you ask students that attended, they would have told you that 30 years ago in food literature in, in Nigeria, nobody was talking about noodles. But when the guys came with Indomie, they created a highly differentiated food. I mean, when I was in food, I didn't, Indomie was not even there. But I know that today, if you go to many campuses and many dormitories, you see students eating them because it is fast to make. And somehow it's also fairly decently nutritious. So the value to customers was high. And also it was well differentiated from typical African food. And that combination means Indomie was able to create a new basis of competition. And when you create a new basis of competition, you are beating up whatever alternatives that available. You never want to be here because this is a very bad investment. You're just going to run out of money because you cannot compensate for the investment you're making because customers don't even value those investments. The hygiene factor, value to customer is high. Everyone expects it, but they won't necessarily because of it. And everyone will say, let me come to you. And this is just standard. You're just boring and business, but the quadrant is not self-evident. So let's go to 